Hey you guys, it just dawned on me to just make a final video on Zoloft because I haven't really explained the withdrawal symptoms and I don't want to lead you guys to thinking that when you taper off everything is just like um, hearts and roses. So yeah, so let me just get right into this. Alright, so when I lowered my Zoloft dosages e each month, uh, I was feeling fine, but I will say I have had days where I felt very irritable and it's very expected because you're lowering off on what was keeping you stable. So irritability you will experience most likely. This is all my experience. So this is what I felt. Irritability is what I experienced. And let's see, let's see obviously some slight anxiety would come up because Zoloft is what stopped my anxiety from occurring easy easily so irritability anxiety and, uh, and all right now and when I actually stopped completely I was doing good for the first two days and then about the days prior I'd probably say the next two days I started having some head flashes I think they're called brain zaps and the best way I can describe that is like it's a warpy feeling it's 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 a it's a, it's a zap you're and not a zap as in like a, a tingle like ting. It's a feeling of just like a like you're like you're going through a portal. It's not. It sounds. It sounds weird, but just just follow my vision. It's it's a feeling like you're going through like a, a vortex. Like it, it's a it's a it's a it's a headspace feeling, and and your your head just almost like you're putting a a flashlight on your brain. But that flashlight is very, very powerful. And... <laughs> it's a brain zap. That's, that's, what, that's what everybody calls it. So I was experiencing that daily for about a week. That lasted for about a week. And it's not so bad. It was just very random and annoying and intrusive it just it just it just would come up randomly and that that is the that's your body just reacting to just having no more of what it had for whatever period of time and i guess it'll depend the intensity of it will depend on how long you're on zoloff i was only on zoloff since i'm gonna say 28 august 2016 but i feel like it wasn't that long but it makes sense it was, was it August 2016? It was either August 2016 or August 2017. I I can easily just go to, let me just go. I have my YouTube up right now. <laughs> Let's see, my first day on Zoloft. Okay, it was 2017. I don't know why I thought it was 2016, but it was it was it was August 2017. Uh, sorry, I video over there. Oh my god, I got other videos playing right now. So yeah, it was it was it was August. I uploaded it September first, but it was it was August 20, 2017. Yeah, wow. So yeah, to not just drift back off, you'll experience the brain zaps when you're completely off of it, and I experienced a. I experienced feeling very lightheaded one day. I went to a casting and while waiting, all of a sudden I got really, it was a weird feeling. It wasn't, it was not from, it wasn't a natural feeling. It was, it, I, I know it was from Zoloft. It was from Zoloft. And I felt very lightheaded to the point where I was like forcing myself to like get control, to stay in control. So yeah. I'm just gonna keep this video very short 
there are withdrawal symptoms. I do not want to mislead lead you guys into thinking that they're that you know it's all like roses and and hearts. It's it the withdrawal symptoms are not deadly. You can definitely overcome it. It's just honestly compare it to getting hit <laughs> by a truck or even slapped in the face. It's nothing, and it la it lasts me about a little over a week. And now I feel great. I feel great. I I did feel like a little head spacey, that little brain zappy feeling. Was it a day or two ago? And that could be just like the body just finishing off its its reaction to getting off of the medication. Or it could be because I'm taking this other medication uh, for like the stomach issue I was having. But yeah, it's not long. You guys will be fine. You will not die from getting off Zoloft. Do not be tricked into thinking that you need to stay on because the withdrawal symptoms are just so unbearable. Don't listen to the horror stories and do not stop cold turkey. Just lower your dosage every month. I recommend that. I, I was on 150 and then after a month, I lowered to 100. And then after that month, I lowered to 50. And then I was advised to lower to 25 and yeah just get off from there and you will be great all right you guys have a great day and i'm gonna say this is my last video on zoloft i don't really see any point in making any other videos on it i think i covered everything that needed to be covered regarding zoloft so that will be it and i'm not sure what direction this channel is going to go into next i think i'm going to be more of a motivational speaker for people who just need to hear things because sometimes you know what you need to do to be great in life and you just need a reminder because like you you've heard what to do to be great in life but sometimes life gets a little rough and you just kind of you 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 forget you forget that you are in control so I think that's the direction I'll turn my channel into and go with the flow. All right, guys, that is it. And you guys have a great day. And follow me on Instagram. I had to put in that promotion. I almost forgot, but I did not. Follow me on Instagram at Matthew Woodstock. M-A-T-T-H-E-W Woodstock. W-O-O-D-S-T-O-C-K. And you will see updates from me. I'm currently taking a little break from Instagram, to be honest, because uh, I'm trying to just like really just focus on myself and social media can be very distracting and I will make videos on that on tips on to how to make it less distraction distracting for you but follow me I will be active on there eventually all right guys have a great day be blessed get out of your own way and you're awesome regardless of what somebody else told you or what you think somebody else thinks about you you're awesome